What is up guys, Trex here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria Living Underground. We are in the Living Underground world with Ronald, of course, once again. What is this, episode episode 5, I believe. On my last episode, episode 4, I accidentally put a 3 in the thumbnail. Look at all these wall creepers built up here. They, they, are just, they just need something to do. So, this episode, what shall we do? What shall we do? Well, I'm hoping that this episode we can finally get the merchant, because... I, I really want to get the merchant because the merchant would be very very good to get so we are going to need to build something out of ice oh yeah uh, I've got lots and lots of ores smelted down all my ores my lead my copper my tungsten my gold and we should upgrade our armor to some nice tungsten armor and then we will be able to sell that later oh yeah I got some presents ooh snow <gasps> ooh a red rider <gasps> Oh, that's cool. That's um, that's a Christmas story reference. That's that's pretty nice. Let's uh, let's see how it does. Oh, that's powerful. So we should be able to get the arms dealer pretty soon now because we got that red rider from the Christmas presents. Okay, we should put some stuff away real quick. Oh no, leave that stone. We need to keep the three stone in our inventory. Yeah, the, every everything is very unorganized because reasons. Uh, snow hat. We can equip that. Nice, nice. Uh, snow blocks. Let's see what we can make out of snow blocks. Can we make tables and stuff out of snow? Uh, no, 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 no. How, how do we make things out of snow? How much wood do we have? 155. So that's good. Good, good. Alright, um, we need to make a workbench and a chair so that we can get some NPCs living up here. Uh, specifically the merchant and the arms dealer. So now we have enough room for three NPCs, which is good, so that we can get more people living here. And let's put that away. What else can we make out of lead? Uh, anything useful? Useful. Uh, a helmet, but we can't really have a helmet. We can upgrade our axe, but we won't see the point of that. Lead pickaxe, silver pickaxe, 45, 43, so... We won't do that. Uh, the sword, I don't think, would be worth it. Is it? No, no, it's not. But we do have a red rider, which is good. That's very good. Uh, so let's put some of this stuff away real quick. Specifically, the uh, the gems, like the topaz, that we don't need to be carrying around at all times. And can I still... Yeah, I can still quick hook like that. Oh, we should make a hammer. Let's make a lead hammer. Uh, right there, sweet. So, got ourselves a hammer. We don't really need an upgraded axe, I don't believe. So, let's do that. There we go, that that should be good. And we'll put away the rest of the gems. Can, can, can you move, Zach? Zach, thank you, there we go. Sweet, he moved. Let's put this in here, and our chest plate intel. Oh, oh dang it. Uh, a panic. Okay, there we go, we're, we're, we're safe. And let's put away this gold coin, um, and only carry around the 50 silver we need for the merchant to show up. And this episode, we should probably create a room or something to fight the Eye of Cthulhu in whenever we will be able to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. And so I'm thinking that if we take a look at the map, we should do it going to the left from here. Or do in one of these areas where there's already a lot cleared. So I'm going to go over there and start clearing an area for us to fight the Eye of Cthulhu. So, let's go! Alright guys, right there you see Calvin the Merchant has arrived, that is very, very good, because that means that we can uh, trade with the Merchant, ooh, got some nice gems down here, that's good, uh, here's a, another pretty good cave system, let's uh, scrap up there, 
So I can still quick grapple with the grappling hook equipped in my inventory, which is good. Uh, equipped in my hotbar. I don't really know what else to put in my hotbar. So we are going to need to, to fight the Eye of Cthulhu sometime soon. I'm thinking that we can buy the uh, min the mini shark from the merchant uh, from the arms. Oh, oh, oh! The nurse, the nurse. I completely forgot about the nurse. Um, so we just got the nurse. That's good. We got the nurse and the merchant within a minute of each other. Uh, that's that's pretty cool. So we need to create a second house or something for some more NPCs, specifically the arms dealer and uh, the demolitionist whenever he might arrive, because I do believe that we have some explosives. Uh, ooh, some sapphire. Nice, nice. Let's get this quickly and try to get out of here. Ooh. Oh, can we survive? Please stop grappling there, you stupid grappling hook. Come on! Come on! Stop grab. Okay, this is it. We're gonna die here. We are going to die, and it is not going to be good. Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, safety! Dang it! Stupid bat! Dang it! We were safe with 12 health left, and then the bat killed us. Why? We could have used our Red Rider with a compass in, a, in the stock and a thing that tells time. I suppose. So, sweet, there we go, got the merchant, let's see what he has for us. Shop, um, oh good, some rope, we need some more rope. Always, well, we've got a grappling hook, sure, can sell be useful for our fighting against the Eye of Cthulhu. Uh, yeah, torches, we can buy torches instead of having to use wood on them, so that's good, that's very good that we got the merchant. But where will we put our arms dealer? Maybe we could just clear out a room down here or something for him make it mud walls or something I don't know uh, let, let's let's actually build a, a quick little room for him down here uh, how how tall are the walls in here one two three four five the walls are five tall so we're going to need to use this and dig down a few blocks so that's um one two three four five six perfect perfect and a block across like that. There we go. Good. We've got ourselves uh, the right room size. Let's just dig out this area real quick. I'll be able to put some wall down in a minute. Yeah, and then hopefully the um, the arms dealer will move will move in soon. We 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 need to grow some more mushrooms. We need a big underground mushroom biome so that we can grow mushrooms because mushrooms are going to be the main source of whatever we make all our stuff out of. Because mushrooms grow and trees don't grow underground, which is slightly annoying. At least I don't think they do. I mean, if we go up close enough to the surface, there's probably some trees growing in some caves. But that that's kind of cheating. Um, sorry, I'm a bit sniff sniffly. Uh, we've got mushrooms. How do we make the mushroom thingies? The mushroom platforms, where are they? I don't see them. I know that we can make mushroom pl Ah, there they are. There we go. And put down some stone wall. Where is it? Zach, can, can, can you move? The problem with having NPCs in the storage room is that they never move out of the way. <sighs> no stone wall. Dang it. Okay. Nope. Oh, that, that's just sitting there for some reason. So let's get some of this. Like that. I can't make stone wall. So that'll be bad. Put right there. It's fill this in nice and full okay that's good that's good that's very very good oh oh we can buy a, uh, a piggy bank from our merchant because we do have gold so let's grab some of that gold right there sweet sweet uh just loot the silver and stuff okay uh piggy bank piggy bank right there that's good put down the piggy bank hopefully we won't talk to him too much because i don't like talking to npcs they are slightly annoying Alright, so put some of this stuff in here, ruby, statue, and all that stuff, and pretty soon we should be getting the arms dealer, but we will have to make some stuff, some wood, tools, or do we have mushrooms in here? We do, but not enough for anything. I wish you could make stone items. That'd be, that'd be very useful. Nope, nothing in there. So let's make him a table and a chair, just, just minimal. How much is a table? Eight. And a workbench is 10. Table it is. 
chair it is. We're we're not going to make workbenches for our NPCs anymore because it is cheaper to make these tables, even though they are bigger. All right, so we will wait for the arms dealer. Uh, let's actually check if that's valid housing. It's like the most boring room ever. Oh, has inquiry. Housing is suitable. Nice. There we go. All right. Oh, and we did get a life crystal, did we not? Where did we put that? Uh, do we have multiple life crystals? Because it must have quick stacked to something. Where is it? Oh wait, no, we didn't pick it up. It's still down there. So let's go back down there and get that really quickly. We can just go through here if we want. And then I will start digging out the room, our boss fight room for the Eye of Cthulhu slash Brain of Cthulhu slash whatever our... Yes, uh, Eye of Cthulhu. That's what it'll be. Brain of Cthulhu. It's either Brain of Cthulhu and Destroyer. Um, not Brain of Cthulhu or Eye of Cthulhu. So let's just head back here real quick. I don't know if this is a Crimson World or a Corruption World. There's ice over here. Um, it might be crimson. I think it said making the world crimson or something in the um, in the world generation. Dang it. I've been playing too much on my personal world or I have an umbrella in slot zero. <sighs> Dang it. All right, let's 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 just head back. Good thing we didn't have... Oh, wait. We had... Oh, dang it. There goes all our gold. Uh, we should probably get that back before it dies. So let's head back. Oh, dang it. Come on. We need that arm stealer. Alright. Uh, uh, I don't have the sandstorm in the bottle like I do on, have on my personal world. Uh, this is... Yep, I've got three worlds going. I've got my personal world, my 1.2 Let's Play world, and this world. And I'm gonna forget what I have and do not have for each world. And I'm going to die because of it. That's that's two deaths so far this episode, so I'm gonna have to animate that death thing twice. Oh boy. Alright, let's go down here, check for our stuff, and then we'll resume a time lapse. Oh, you stupid bat, I keep dying because of you guys. You, you, you bats are good for nothing. Nothing, I say. Let's heal up. Where is our gold? 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 Oh, yeah, we used it to buy the EP bank. I'm stupid. Ooh, tungsten. Tungsten, tungsten. Tungsten's very good because we can make armor and weapons out of it. We should make a bow before too long for our fight with the Eye of Cthulhu, which will be hopefully in the next few episodes. Let's see, we've got Eye of Cthulhu, we've got Brain of Cthulhu slash Eater of Worlds, which for whichever uh, version our world is, and that'll be useful because we can get either the Crimson Armor or the Corrupt Armor, which is the Demonite Armor or the Crimtain Armor. Both armors are very good. Um, and then Skeletron, which I'm not entirely sure that we'll need to we'll need to fight him. He would be useful. We would have to break the rule of not going to the surface um, in order to fight him because. Uh, we can't break through Dungeon Brick just yet, unless we can get a Molten Pickaxe. Can Molten Pickaxes break through Dungeon Brick, or is it only Hard Mode Cobalt pick pick Pickaxes and above? I don't know. Oh, come on. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. That's where I was killed. So, yeah, we might have to break the rule for Skeletron if he's necessary. If he's not necessary, we might not fight him. But I don't know, because uh, he's kind of useful. Oh, did you see those pro skills? Mm, this looks like a nice area to fight. I have Cthulhu. And then, of course, we will fight the Wall of Flesh, which you do have to fight underground. And, ooh, I've got an idea. So what if we keep these um, the three stacks of stone in our inventory until we get to the uh, Wall of Flesh fight, and then we use that to build the bridge? So, so it's like carrying our bridge all the way some weird english teacher symbolism or something i don't know oh get that couple of oh okay thank you piranha oh actually no thank you because there's water here and i would have survived anyway no i hate these bats bats are just weird oh come on come on use your use your upper body strength ronald weasley that you definitely have uh jump over there sweet all right where is the the life crystal uh it's down there Yep. Okay, swim close to this edge. Grab this life crystal. Sweet, two life crystals. This is a very productive episode. Get around there. Missed. Missed. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Very productive episode. We're getting several NPCs and life crystals. Oh, come Ah, oh, dang it. Come on. 
Ah, uh, dang it. So let's see if we can get the arm steel in this episode for a total of three NPCs and two life crystals. I'm not sure what the life crystals have to do with the NPCs, but we did get the nurse because of it. So I'm going to find a place to start digging out our area for the Eye of Cthulhu boss fight. So let's uh, start a time lapse. Okay, guys, forgot to press record, um, but off camera, nothing happened except I got a candy cane sword and I just came across this this uh, mushroom biome and I got a bomb. So. We will get the Demolitionist before too long. I should probably put away the 73 silver sometime. But this is good. Another mushroom biome. There's probably going to be a chest somewhere in here. But we do have more mushrooms that we can use to create stuff. Plus, this looks like a good place to build our arena. Yep, there's a chest. Sweet golden chest. So I'm going to build my arena here. As well as make some places for the mushrooms to grow. So, oh, present. Let's see what we got. Uh, candy cane blocks. Okay. Can we make platforms out of them? No, but I bet we can make, like, stuff. Like, things. The, um, like, workbenches and room decor for future NPCs. Oh, come here. Come here, dude, skeleton. There we go. He's dead. Sweet. Let's check out this chest real quick. And I'll get going with the digging process. <gasps> oh, that's so good. Oh, we got an extractinator. We can make any gem we want to now pretty much so I'm going to get digging with this uh, let's take this chest I'm going to get digging and uh, I'll dig our room for uh, for us to fight the I have Cthulhu in so let's get going guys Alright guys, Arms Dealer is here. Uh, now the next NPC that we can possibly get in this episode is, I believe, the Demolitionist. Uh, oh, we're never going to be able to get the Goblin Tinker. Dang it, because we need to beat the uh, the Goblin Army for that. And I don't think that we can attack them if we're underground. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, hmm. We might need to go above ground. Uh, to fight the Goblin Army, because I do believe that we need to get a Tinker's Workshop if we are going to fight the Wall of Flesh. I believe that a Tinker's Workshop is essential for some... I can't remember what, but I think it's essential. If it's not essential, then we aren't going to uh, break the rule, go above ground to fight Goblin Army. So, the only times that we may have to break the rule of the surface is if we need to fight Skeletron... If it's necessary for us to go into the dungeon, which it might be if we want the Cobalt Sword for the Knight's Edge. But I don't know. Um, so, dungeon and Goblin Army might be the only times that we have to break the rule. But if we don't, then we won't. So, yeah. There's a cave system down there. I'll probably go check that out sometime. But the Demolitionist will should be here. We should we just need to go and create a room for him. Let's actually go do that right now. As soon as we finish this section of a row and we get some things done. Okay, there we go. Let's uh let's head down here. I'll I'll outfit this with platforms and stuff sometime. It'd be useful if I had a recall potion. You know what? Um, shh. Where's Ronald? There he is. And was it uh living underground? Alright, there's the arms dealer, um, so we can get, let's put away gold, we have three gold, we need 35 for, uh, the mini shark, and that will be useful, but I don't believe that it's necessary to fight the, uh, the Eye of Cthulhu, but now we should dig out a room for the demolitionist guy, yeah, the dwarf, so it's one, two, three, four, five, that's all the space we need to dig out. And then we'll need to dig out a border of one for the walls. So let's do this real quick. And hopefully we will get the Demolitionist episode. If we do, we will have gotten the Nurse, the Merchant, the Arms Dealer, and the Demolitionist this episode. Next up, the Painter. Oh, we can get the... Oh, wait. I don't know if we can get the Die Trader. We might be able to... 
but I doubt it. Uh, wait, no, we can get the die trader. Yeah, we can definitely get the die trader. So let's might as well take out an additional room just for the die trader. Um, yeah, how long are these rooms? Let me see real quick. I'll measure by placing stone on the floor. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Rooms are sixteen long each, so that's going to be um one. Uh, I shouldn't measure this out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. You know, I'm just going to time lapse the digging of these rooms and we'll see if the NPCs get here. Alright guys, there's the demolitionist. Now the most, uh, the next NPC that's most likely to arrive is the painter. I think he's going to arrive before the uh, die trader does, but we can probably get what was that? The the merchant, the nurse, the demolitionist, the arms trader, and the painter and the die trader. This episode, so that's like six NPCs in one episode. If we could do that, that'd be pretty crazy. So. Uh, I'm going to see if that will happen. I'm just going to continue digging this out. We have one more NPC room. Who will t claim it? The painter or the die trader? We will see, but I'm going to continue digging this out. Let the music continue playing. Hope you guys are still liking this video. Very productive so far. So far, we've gotten how many NPCs? It's one, two, three, four. That's four. We could get a... We There's a possibility of six NPCs. So we could get six NPCs. We've gotten four in one episode so far. And we've also gotten three life crystals. Our health went from 120 to 180 in one episode, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, another present. And we got ourselves a good sword, the Candy Cane Sword. Very, very productive episode. By far our most productive episode. So, uh, continue playing the music. Let's, let's do this. And let the next NPC come, or come pretty soon. <laughs>
Alright guys, I finished taking out the space for the uh, I've Cthulhu fight. I've made sure that there are still some mushroom grass seeds so that we will be able to restore this biome after we are done fighting him. So let's head back to our house. Uh, didn't get the six NPCs, the five NPCs like I thought we would. Let's actually just use this recall potion real quick. I don't really care about recall potions. Um, so we have one room right here. Let's just dig out one more room real quick. Uh, just so that we have enough room for all the NPCs that we can get. And, yeah, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Perfect amount. Sweet. Alright, so, uh, I'm just going to build this room out really quickly. And, oh, we could put a room there if we wanted to. But, no, I, I, I like this. I like the look of our house. Our house looks pretty cool. So, yeah, um... It'd be pretty crazy if the painter or the die trader arrived while I was talking, but I don't think they will. So, anyways, guys, that's it for episode 5 of a Living Underground, Terraria Living Underground. It was a very, very productive episode. In fact, I believe it was our most productive episode. In total, we got the nurse, the merchant, the arms dealer, and the demolitions for a total of four NPCs, with the possibility of six NPCs, those six being the painter, or the... The other NPCs that can we can possibly get are the Painter and the Die Trader. We also got three Life Crystals, which increased our health from 120 to 180. We got a new Sword, which um, helps us, which gives us more damage. We got the Candy Cane Sword, which I have in my personal trader world as well. We got a new uh, chest piece. We got the whatever it's called, chest piece, the, uh, da, 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 tungsten chainmail, which is good because tungsten is an upgrade from our copper. It is one of the, uh, tungsten is just behind gold and we won't get a lot of gold. So we are, we are on our way. Pretty soon we will be able to fight the Eye of Cthulhu and hopefully, and after that, Brain of Cthulhu slash Eater World slash whatever. So anyways, guys, thank you all very, very much for watching this episode of Living Underground with GXW. I hope you guys all liked the video, and if you did, if you would like the video, or, I'm, I, I really messed that up. Hope you guys all liked the video, and if you liked the video, then be sure to like the video, and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. A goodbye. Where are those gosh darn mushroom platforms? Ah, there they are.